Today we want to learn how to solo over a B7 chord, a dominant chord, using diminished licks. And I'm thinking about a fiddle tune like Blackberry Blossom in the B part. And we have a nice B7 for one bar, it's only one bar long. Let's say that you want to use um, a diminished uh, scale or a diminished arpeggio lick over that chord and I want to show you some yeah some cool stuff super easy because you know I like to, to teach uh, easy stuff and I like to, to show you how to to have uh, a nice ideas uh, without too much theory or anything and today we just need we just need a single pattern that is only six notes long. All right, so I hope that you can um, hear me good, by the way. So click, uh, click uh, like uh, if you want and, um, and just tell me where you're from. All right, so and uh, again, so we are, we want to um, see how to use a diminished lick over a B7 chord and so I'm gonna show you first of all I want to show you this fingering you see it's a very simple it's just like a D chord you know you move the D chord over one string back one fret and then you add the pinky here and that's a diminished chord and I don't know maybe you know this already but you can move that chord up and down the neck because it's always, this is a B diminished chord and if you move it here it's still a B diminished chord and it's always a B diminished chord and, and you will see why we need to know that in a moment and, and uh, by the way this is very very similar to a, a B7 right? except that here we have an open B and here we have a C note instead of the open B. All right, or we should say a B sharp, but never mind. So, all right, so now that we have that, we can, um, we can learn this very simple six note arpeggio. It goes like this. And I like to, to, to go three notes at a time, all right? So it's index on the fourth string, first fret, pinky, and then middle finger on the third string. So fourth string, fourth string, third string. So memorize that. Let's play it over and over. All right. You have it? Okay, now we just play exactly the same the same three note pattern starting on the second string so here we go so index pinky and middle finger you see we are not using the ring finger for this pattern so again this is the first half using string number four and three and then we play exactly the same fingering on string two and one. So it's a symmetrical pattern, right? Now let's put it all together. And uh, here is the arpeggio. And this is a diminished arpeggio. Super easy to memorize, I think. And super easy to play. Go back and forth. So okay, now you need to, to learn that, and um, and then we are ready. We're ready to to play using that arpeggio. We're ready to to play over the the B part for Blackberry Blossom. So let me play my backing track here. Let's see. Maybe this is the right volume. Usually you go like this. And then we need a closing line. 
again. This is the E minor. And here comes the B7. And close the line. And now, and now let, let's use, instead of using on the B7, we can play the arpeggio, something like this. Let me do it again. should go a little bit slower right and so you can really see what I'm doing here but I'm just using those six notes let me do it slowly and close in line and again this is my E minor like this okay and then by the way uh, I can show you a little tab here so if you want to screenshot this this is all of the stuff that we're gonna do today so you're ready for the screenshot one two three here we go done okay and by the way my name is Roberto della Vecchia and I I like teaching uh, flat picking guitar and so if you are new to this style uh, you can uh, you can download for free I have a crash course and the link is in the description of this video and um, and th that's an introduction to, to flat picking so it's it's, all for, it's just a few videos a few tabs and a backing track and uh, you can just download it for free and um, or if you prefer you can join my community I have a channel uh, that is called flat picking experience on true fire so you can join me there and uh, you will find a lot of lessons like this and you can also meet other um, flat pickers and so again the link is in the channel is in the in the description and the name, anyway, the name of the channel is Flat Picking Experience. Okay, so, so let me show you one more time the little phrase I was playing. So you see, I'm just, now we have a problem, kind of a problem, because when we play this simple phrase, okay, that's only six notes long, one, two, three, four five six right so if we are playing eighth notes we need a couple of extra notes to finish the bar and that's why I'm doing and then I play open E and and the D sharp again and that makes and that's make the bar completed right so that's one, one simple lick that you can learn and um, let me do it one more time with the backing track here So now, now let's move this finger in. We, we move it, you know, you see where my pinky is? All right. So now let, let's put the index in the same place. That's an F sharp, right? So that's the way I shift position. And now I can play exactly the same sequence. 
okay and that's also that's also a, a diminished lick this is a B7 again a B diminished arpeggio okay so practice this for a moment all right and you know we can move the fingering we said in the beginning we can move this up three frets so you see that's my index same place same fret position or here okay and now maybe we can uh, again we can play something Okay, so in this case, I'm just using the arpeggio and I land on the G note. Now you can also land here if you prefer, right? And this time the, 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 the six notes are long enough because actually I'm playing a, a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three. And so in this case, that's all I need, just those six notes, all right? So two triplets in a row. So, so we did this one, this position, we did this position, and of course we have one more position. Actually, you have, you have more than that, but let's go up to the seventh fret. And uh, again, the same. Isn't this cool? Because we are always using the same pattern. And again, this is a B diminished arpeggio. And uh, so, so we are repeating. Quick recap we are playing a six note arpeggio here. Then we move that fingering up to three frets and we play the same pattern. And then we move it up to three more frets, and we and we play always the same arpeggio. And if you move it here, yeah, you have one more possibility. All right. So let's see what we can do here. Let me give you another example using the same backing track.
right, so what I'm doing here, well, this time I'm playing the sixth note, okay, and then right after that I played an E minor triad, like this. So, and that's an E minor, right? So. like that okay and um, so that's another possibility L let me play a little bit faster here okay so and I will show you all of the licks that we did the three licks in the three different position of the neck so the first one Okay, so so you see it's very very simple and I think it sounds very very cool. We are using the same pattern and we are just shifting position and um, and of course you can experiment with this as much as you want. You can also play the the, the, the arpeggio backward, right? For example, I don't know. Uh, for example here. Something like this. Or, or yeah, or maybe you can use it down below here. Uh, you can go, um, let's see. the same arpeggio but I'm starting from a low B note this is a B7 after all right so I can use a B note and uh, I think that's also very another little variation that you can use so again I hope that you like this and uh, leave a comment and let me know if you like it and uh, or maybe you can also I don't know, you, you can also do a quick video and a link in the comments and, uh, and I'll be happy to watch it. And um, what else? Well, uh, uh, please subscribe to my channel and, and uh, hit the bell so you will know when I go live again and when I upload new videos. And uh, that's all for today and I hope you have a nice weekend. Bye bye!